Lord, open our names, and we shall praise your name. Abroad the regal banners fly, now shines the cross's mystery. Upon it life did death endure, and yet by death it life procured. That which the prophet king of old hath in mysterious verse foretold, is now accomplished whilst we see God ruling nations from a tree. Blessed we whose happy branches bore the wealth that did the world restore, the beam that did that body weigh, which raised up hell's expected prey. Hail, cross, a hope on thee we call, who keep this mournful festival. Grant to the just increase of grace, and every sinner's crimes efface. Blessed Trinity, we praise sing to Thee from whom all graces spring, celestial crowns on those bestow, who conquer by the cross below. In the day of my distress I sought the Lord with outstretched arms. I cry aloud to God, cry aloud to God that he may hear me. In the day of my distress I sought the Lord, my hand to raise at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered my God and I groaned. I pondered and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled, I could not speak. I thought of the days of long ago. And remember the years long past. At night I mused within my heart. I pondered and my spirit questioned. Will the Lord reject us forever? Will he show his his favour no more? As his love vanish forever? As his promise come to an end, does God forget his mercy, or in anger withhold his compassion? I said, this is what causes my grief, the way of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of the Lord, I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy. What God is great as our God. You are the God who 
works wonders. You shed your power among the peoples. You're strong and redeemed your people. The sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured down rain. The sky sent forth their voice. Your arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled round the sky. Your flashes lighted up the world. The earth was moved and trembled when your way led through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock. By the hand of Moses and Aaron, to the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, give praise for every man. In the day of my distress, I sought the Lord with outstretched arms. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also come to life with him. My heart exalts in the Lord. I find my strength in my God. My mouth laughs at my enemies as I rejoice in your saving help. There is none like the Lord. There is none beside you. There is no rock like our God. Bring your haughty words to an end. Let no boasts fall from your lips. For the Lord is a God who knows all. It is he who weighs men's deeds. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the weak are clothed with strength. Those with plenty must labour for bread, but the hungry need work no more. The childless wife has children now, but the fruitful wife bears no more. It is the Lord who gives life and death. He brings men to the grave and back. It is the Lord who gives poverty and riches. He brings men low and raises them on high. He lifts up the lowly from the dust. From the ash heap he raises the poor to set him in the company of princes, to give him a glorious throne. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. On them he has set the world. He guards the steps of his faithful, but the wicked perish in darkness. For no man's power gives him victory. The enemies of the Lord shall be broken. The Most High will thunder in the heavens. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give power to his King and exalt the might of his anointed. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also come to life with him. God has made Jesus Christ our wisdom and our virtue, our holiness and our freedom. Lord is King, let earth rejoice, let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne justice and right. A fire prepares his path, it burns to be his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world, the earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice, all people see his glory. 
Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All you spirits worship him. Zion is and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgment, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. God has made Jesus Christ our wisdom and our virtue, our holiness and our freedom. The Lord God has opened my ear. For my part I made no resistance neither did I turn away. I offered my back to those who struck me, my cheeks to those who tore at my beard. I did not cover my face against insult and spittle. The Lord God comes to my help, so that I am untouched by the insults. So too I set my face like flint. I know I shall not be shamed. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood. From every tribe and tongue, and people and nation. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood. May the blood of Christ, who offered himself as the perfect sacrifice to God, through the Holy Spirit, purify our inner self from dead actions, so that we may serve the living God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of only men, those who were his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would freeze from our foes. From the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and save from the hands of our foes. We might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you should be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation 
through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. May the blood of Christ, who offered himself as the perfect sacrifice to God through the Holy Spirit, purify our inner self from dead actions so that we may serve the living God. Let us pray earnestly to Christ our Saviour, who redeemed us by his death and resurrection. Lord of mercy on us. You went up to Jerusalem to endure the passion and enter into glory. Lead your church into the paschal feast of eternal life. Lord of mercy on us. Your heart was pierced with a lance. Heal the wounds of our human weakness. Lord of mercy on us. You made your cross the tree of life. Share your victory with all the baptised. Lord of mercy on us. You gave salvation to the repentant thief. Pardon all our sins. Lord of mercy on us. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. By your will, Lord God, your Son underwent the agony of the cross to break the power of Satan over man. Give your people grace to rise again with Christ who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.